Well, there's currently no vaccine available that will prevent an HIV infection or a cure for those living with the disease. As you know, scientists have made huge advancements in treating it. The question remains, of course, as to where, whether a vaccine will come one day. Dr. Catherine Mgadi is from the Orem Institute. Dr. Mgadi, good evening to you, and thank you very much indeed for your time. We now know so much about the disease. We know so much about HIV. Is there still a lot more research we need to do to actually fully understand how it operates in the human body? Uh, good evening and good evening to all the viewers. And yes, um, there's still a lot to learn about HIV. We do know a lot about it, enough to know what the challenges are to um, forming uh, an HIV vaccine. So part of the challenges are that uh, this virus has just unprecedented genetic uh, diversity across the globe, uh, within a continent, in a country, and even within chronically infected um, people, there is greater diversity of uh, viruses uh, in their body than there is for a flu, um, um, you know, a pandemic in a year across the globe. And because of this genetic uh, diversity, it's very difficult to have a vaccine that covers all of the genetic variants. Also, we don't have um, a single person that has cleared HIV infection on their own. So we don't have a human model to follow. And this makes it very difficult um, to formulate a vaccine that can cover all of the circulating variants. This genetic diversity, does that mean it could actually be impossible to come up with one vaccine that works for HIV? No, it's not impossible. There are certain areas of the viruses that are conserved or shared between all viruses. And so it's about incorporating the proteins from that section of the virus. And in fact, these proteins are genetically engineered in the laboratory. So we don't uh, cleave any parts of the actual virus out to put in the vaccine. Um, but building those uh, genetic uh, proteins are actually very difficult because they are notoriously unstable. But just recently, um, there has been uh, quite um, a good advancement in, um, in actually forming those proteins. And there's a new study being conducted by IRV um, in the U.S. and in Kenya that is looking at um, evaluating this first uh, genetic protein. In the meantime, we have millions of people living on antiretroviral drugs. From what we know, they're ensuring that those people living with HIV are living a, the same life as everybody else. I mean, the advances around ARV drugs have been immense. They have been absolutely uh, amazing, the advances around antiretroviral drugs. But one challenge is adherence, because these drugs have to be taken for the rest of, of someone's lives. Um, the, the drugs themselves have got um, very few side effects at the moment, but unfortunately, chronic infection with HIV uh, does lead to complications in terms of um, development of non-communicable diseases, so heart problems, etc. So it's not that people um, have their lifespan considerably reduced, but they are uh, more susceptible to some chronic um, diseases. So we really do need something that can help both the adherence and that can uh, prevent infections, new infections in people who are uninfected at the moment. Dr. Catherine Mgadi, thank you from the Orem Institute. Really appreciate the time.